What's going on? I got a camera here. Just got this in the mail and it has the dreaded aperture lock. This is a K30. I was hoping to like make it a, you know, M42 camera and just try out some funky lenses. But this one, yeah, it has aperture block. I figured out as soon as I took it out of the box, I was wondering if it would. Um, it's been dropped, it looks like. Let's turn it on and see what, what I'm talking about here. The battery's almost dead, so when I take a picture, let's see here. It helps if I take the lens cap off. <laughs> but if I take a picture here, look, it's all dark. I, and I am in uh, aperture priority mode. Now, thing to look at, if you think you have it, make sure your exposure compensation isn't like way down here so that's one of the first things to look at now what aperture block is there's a solenoid in here that's gone bad and basically um you have to take it apart and fix it yourself which if you look online it's like looks crazy how many screws you have to take apart to get to it and or you have to send it off to get repaired and it costs uh pretty much more than the, the camera is worth to do that so uh, I did see a couple of things that you could do to try to fix it uh, without taking it apart, and we're going to try those today. Um, now, people complain that this happens uh, when the, uh, like it's like an ongoing thing, like many people have had it, the battery is almost dead, so I'm going to change it out. Um, like it's a very, very common thing but i've had several of these cameras and never had an issue so this one has a shutter count of 30,500 a lot of people have this camera and this camera is like eight years old or something like that and they they uh, the, the shutter count is like super low like under 10 it's like well you hadn't been using your camera so i have a feeling it's from it sitting but that's not the case with this this has 30,000 shutter count so um let's try a few things I, we're going to go into here under the wrench icon and reset reset camera to all defaults this is just we're going to try this so it should reset everything to the, the defaults so uh let's put the lens back on and give this one a shot see if that did anything at all no it did not okay so you see that didn't fix anything um let's try this i saw this somebody else said to try this so we're, we're, i'm gonna put it in av mode put it, yeah like f8 and then we're gonna try just shooting off make sure i'm jpeg just shooting off a bunch of shots to see if it gets better filling up the buffer there look did you see that no sir we had some had some fix there. It, it slowly got better. You notice that? So, now we're just going to take one shot and see if... Hmm, very interesting. Alright, now let's... Uh, that could fix it. Uh, a lot of people said that fixed it. Not permanently, but... Kind of. Let's do this other thing. So here on the side, this raw button right here, we're going to change that out. All right, so uh, for this, we're going to go to this raw button right here. So under button customization, we're going to go to this raw one. Change it to optical preview in here. That's what they said to do. So we've got that done. Guys, okay, said to press this raw button, so we switched it like 10 20 times he said so just keep on pressing it hopefully this will help out and then take some shots he said well that last thing already fixed it so he said he had to repeat this a couple of times but those there's there's just a two two different fixes that you could try and I don't know how long they were they will work it might just be a temporary fix but at least I got this camera going again 
All right, don't be also don't be afraid to reach out to uh, a, maybe a Facebook group or Pentax forums to even if you think you know what the issue is, just to get like a second opinion on it. So this originally, since I never had that issue before, I did notice that it had this little issue going on. So uh, I thought it was an issue. I was like, what? What is that noise? Because I never have this on. Basically, listen here. And the image stabilization was turned off and it was in manual focus. I was like, what in, what in the, what is that? Because it, it looks like it's been dropped. So I thought there might be an issue. But somebody reminded me it's the, uh, you know, the dust dust cleaner sensor. So all it does is it shakes shakes the sensor and tries to shake the dust on. It's a, a feature I never use really. But anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead, subscribe. And hopefully that fixes your camera if you have aperture block. But just give those two things a try. And uh yeah, thanks for watching.